Carrie Katona has shared a health update with fans after putting her work commitments to one side in order to aid her recovery. The former Atomic Kitten star had been scheduled to hit the road and meet fans up and down the country as part of her No Regrets tour but was forced to postpone. It comes after Gary, 42, admitted she had been diagnosed with scoliosis, a curvature of the spine, which has left her in severe pain for several years. According to the NHS, it's estimated that around 3 or 4 in every 1,000 children are suffering from scoliosis, with the condition being more common in women than it is in men. Carrie has now opened up about her decision to postpone her tour, writing in her new magazine column, I had to make the decision to postpone my tour last week, which was so difficult. I hate saying no to work and letting people down. I was really battling with myself and getting emotional about it because I was so excited to see you all there. But ultimately, the doctor told me I needed complete rest and had to put my health first, before adding that she will be taking time to ensure she is both mentally and physically prepared to be back on the stage. It comes after Carrie opened up to the mirror about her diagnosis and how she was left in tears due to the pain she was constantly suffering. I've lived with chronic pain for years, so to actually get a diagnosis and have a plan of action to try and give it treatment, I feel validated and cried because I was in so much pain, she said. The mom of five continued, yeah. It was crippling, I got fed up with hearing myself complain, am so used to my pain, I will carry on with it. Am always busy and work and I've got the kids, I always put myself last. Discussing her tour, she went on to add, oh my god, it's got to be the hardest tour I've ever done. I was in a different bed every single night, that's what crippled me at the end. I got home and my body just went into shutdown, I love my job, Terry's no two days the same, am not stuck behind a desk, am so lucky and grateful. I get asked to do some amazing reality shows, you wouldn't normally do and I think how lucky am I? I might have all this money and it gives me options to create great memories. She continued, that's where my riches are and the adventures that I have on these reality shows. None of this, financial wealth, means anything, I can't take it when I die, when I'm on my deathbed, I have the memories and the images and the feelings of the adventures that I created with my family.